Good morning, guys. It's uh, Thursday, and I'm headed to some work. And it is four days. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is my fibroid assessor procedure, which which I'm trying to just stay focused on the day and what I'm doing and not think ahead. And every once in a while, I have these thoughts about, oh, I wonder how that procedure is going to go, and I get a little nervous, and then I just say, you know what, just stay in the moment. So. I'm staying in the moment um, as much as I can and I'm happy that it's coming and it's moving coming very quickly so that it'll just be something that I can actually be done with um, but um, I am looking forward to handling it still waiting for the pre-op results which I think I get when I see the doctor um, Friday hey there so it is October 18th. It is the night before my procedure, my assessive procedure with Dr. Lee. And uh, I've just been staying really busy. Um, I'm just trying to stay present in the moment. Um, then every once in a while I start thinking about like, how's it gonna be and trying to project all this stuff. So I'm, I'm deciding I'm just trying to stay in the moment and I'm a little bit nervous. BB, come here. A little bit nervous, but I'm actually just really looking forward to uh, handling this. It's been a long time, long time waiting, long time waiting for the right procedures to pop up, long time waiting for all the signs for which way and for the sign that it was time to do it. And everything sort of pointed to, yeah, it's time. The colonoscopy revealed it. The doctors were both saying how large my... Um, my uterus was in the colonoscopy pictures and how it was squishing my bladder. And and then when I called um, my friend Lindsay, her boyfriend said that she had just had the procedure and um, I asked what doctor they ended up using and they said Dr. Lee. And even though I was a little afraid to ask him, what do you think of Dr. Lee? Because I'm was already i already in. Uh, the response was like, he's rad and he really cares so that was just that was really comforting to hear so I guess that's pretty much it I'm I'm gonna it's about nine o'clock ten o'clock I'm gonna get up at probably four o'clock in the morning have to be at the hospital by 5 30 I'll keep you guys posted good morning it's October 19th it's 5.30, 5.20 in the morning. I'm having a surgery. <laughs> so I feel a little bit nervous today. Just a twinge, but not terrible. And I also feel a little excited that I'm actually confronting and dealing. And it's time. So today's the day, and uh, I don't know what to expect. They're going to be probing my body. I'm going to be sleeping, and people will have control of my body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Romy. Hi. Romy drove me here this morning. She's going to take care of me. I drove. <laughs> she dro I mean, she's she, so controlling that she drove. <laughs> I had to drive myself to surgery, so only control I could have this morning. I'm going to drive her home when she has no control. Uh, all right. I'll check in with you. Bye. I'm signing in. Oh no. <laughs> okay guys, so, yeah, I'm, so good. I'm in the waiting room and Romy's here with me. It's very important to have a good friend with you when you're going to have surgery. <laughs> surgery. Um oh, yeah. I just filed all my paper. I filled out all my paperwork. Oh, God. Thanks, honey. And, um, <laughs> here you go. Here I go. Um, surgery. I'm gonna no longer be a virgin. My insides will be not a virgin. They're not taking your insides out. No, they're just probing me with an ablation needle. Goodbye. You still have a baby. I didn't have no baby. <laughs> For you, old mama. Yeah, no. It's not <laughs> no baby. No. 
Okay. You could though, with this procedure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Ow. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, yeah. I just peed in a cup. I had to pee in a cup to make sure I was pregnant. We don't know that. Me and I told them that would be impossible. Immaculate conception. I'm in my gown, ready for surgery. What are you trying to photobomb? <laughs> are you photobombing? So, one of the machines. You can start pushing. It's okay. like 8.30. You can push me. It's okay. okay. Hi. <laughs> so, one of the machines that the ultrasound didn't come with the order for my procedure. So, what was supposed to be a 7.30, 8.30 the surgery is now going to be later. There's my doctor, Dr. Lee. He's running some errands. He'll be back. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Dr. Lee. Alright, anyway, that's it. I gotta call everyone and tell them I'm not gonna be done so soon. Alright. Okay, Hi, cute, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What am I doing? Crazy. <laughs> I'm still waiting. It's now 10 to 10. I'm watching TV. Kelly. Kelly Ripa. <laughs> and Michael. <laughs> Romy's right there. Just add me some juice. Some apple juice. Bye. It's now 11 a.m. I'm watching Kathy, not Kathy Lee. Yeah, I'm watching Kathy Lee. Where's Ellen when you need her? Romy's here, patient. She's very patient. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little restless. Mm -hmm. I'm having a couple sips of juice. That's about all. Hmm. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> that's cute, huh? That's so I'll good. Find, I'll find good ones on here. Romy and I are watching Ellen. And what's her name? Kristen. Dirt. No, that's not Kristen Dunst. It's Kristen. Bell? Bell, yeah. Talk about how she Mary cries Jackson. about so sleuths. Sloths. It was very cute. This what? His phone is too heavy. Hi, Romy. A pirate's life is a life for me. Yo, oh, oh, and a puzzle of I get seasick on the sea. Yo, oh, oh, and a puzzle of I don't, don't mind me. I'm not on drugs yet. Once I get on drugs, then you should worry. See, this one doesn't feel ambitious. Uh oh, how come? Because it's white. Nanny Moe and Jack over there. My friend says they're angry. That's so, angry fibroids. Angry fibroids. Isn't that bizarre? Is that a fibroid? Yeah. Mm. The round things. That big one right there. Yeah. Maybe that one. That one. This that is, one. yeah, it looks like it. That. The only thing that's sore is It's like a pumpkin patch in there. I have festive festivities going on in there. There was a lot of things going on <laughs> uh -huh. in there. Producing. I had to pee every 15 minutes sometimes. Well, during procedure? No, just Me every day. <laughs> Ask Romy every day. She had a catheter. <laughs> no, but when she we were in the room. She had one, right? Yeah. She could have peed during yeah, the procedure. Her hair procedure. looks really good. She still have the cover there? <laughs> <laughs> there. Romy. It does. I the cover no, Look at how nice. Like that, your, hair is a your hair is beautiful. It's like Angie Dickinson. Angie Dickinson. I'm from Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> You're from Hollywood? Like Angie Dickinson. Romy, we got some Viking. Drink enough to where it's not gonna make me sick. Just ask the lady, okay. or if I'm supposed to just sip so I don't throw up. Okay. Each? Yeah. Show me the underwear that you brought. 
And she's. I don't know where she thought she was going. Where'd you think you were going? I was going to be sexy for the camera. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me. It's after my surgery. I'm just waiting till I can pee because my bladder's sleeping. But they, the doctor said I had 15 fibroids. How crazy is that? 15 in my uterus. That's why my uterus was so big. But they can't see how many you have without this particular procedure tool. So all the ultrasounds I had said six or seven or eight. But he actually found 15 and he blazed everyone, even if it's super tiny, so that there was no more recurrence of those. So I'm so happy for it to be behind me. I'm still a little bit on some Lala juice but I'm much better. And once my bladder gets rolling, I'm gonna head home, so, yay. Or do you want us to just home. take your mom? Yeah, come over to my house. All right, so you, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, gotta get out. What's that? Where's your car? We're right down the street. Be careful, Did she walk, huh? or do we wanna put her in? No, no, we can. Guys, beautiful family. Bye, thank you. you. Take care, Eva. Take care, Eva. Take care, Eva. All right, thank Have you, Romy. Thank All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Nice meeting you, too. Nice meeting you too. God Love bless you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Oh, yeah. I just had me fibroid surgery. You look really cute. I do. I had 15. You look so young right now. It already helped. Really? I'm serious. Look at look great. Hi, guys. So I'm in the car. It's, um, the surgery took place at what time, Romy? At noon. Oh yeah, we gotta put seatbelts on, hold on. At noon. Seatbelts first, before documentation. Started at 12 noon. Is that when I started? Yes. Okay. I started the procedure at 12 noon and then went. about 2.30. I was done about 2.30, so it was really like two, two and a half hours almost all together. And we couldn't go see you till 4.20. And they couldn't come see me till 4.20 because I was sleepy so and knocked out. And I was, oh. anyway, um, my mom and Ronnie came, which made me super happy, really happy. It's so funny, I don't ever ask for people to come, but when they come, I'm always so happy, so I need to remember that. They surprised you. They surprised me and it was great. Debbie Derryberry was calling like on the hour to Aww. check up on you. Aww, it was really that's nice. so sweet. So anyway, I'm heading home. I feel like really excited to know what my body's gonna feel like without 15 fibroids and the pressure of that. I can't even imagine. So more will be discussed later. I'm hungry. <laughs> and I also really 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 appreciate having Romy with me she was the perfect person for me today the perfect person because she's funny but she understands it all and she made me feel really relaxed and safe so I love you Romy oh, I love you too seriously I love girl you too. I love Romy I love you. Right. hi guys it's nighttime it's dancing with the stars and the voice and um, I went through a little bit of nausea, a little strong, and I went, turned a little bit gray. That's just because I was starving and I hadn't eaten in the anesthesia. But I'm feeling better now. And I was also starting to feel crampy and bloated. So the pain med, which is just like a high-dose Advil prescription strength, started to kick in. And I'm feeling better now. So my mom and I are watching... Mom's there. We're watching shows, and later I'll watch my voice episodes in my room. Ciao. I'll keep you posted. Hi, guys. It's the day after my procedure. Um, I had my procedure yesterday, and uh, today I've just been hanging around the house and relaxing, and I didn't take any pain meds or anything. I haven't even taken an Advil or an aspirin today. I feel sore, but not like pain, like real incredible pain. I just feel sore, like when I move certain directions and my stomach is distended. It feels like like when you're bloated, when you have a period, kind of distended. But like totally like doable, no problem. I can't believe I had surgery yesterday and I'm not on any pain meds. 
Um, I feel fine. I just took a shower, had to keep my wounds dry, and I'm um, just laying low for the next couple days. And yeah, like I said, the only thing I'm feeling is just real hard distended belly, which I think is probably from the swelling and the doctor says from the anesthesia, slowing down your, your digestive tract when it feels just sore and it's like I got poked in the stomach, but I still uh, feel pretty good. It's pretty amazing. That's the Assessa procedure. So far, so good. Signing out. Hi guys, it's Thursday morning. I had my procedure on Monday and it is now Thursday morning and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, last night I started noticing um, cramping, which is interesting because Dr. Lee told me that I would start feeling like my uterus would start contracting, which is actually a good thing because that means the uterus actually the uterus is actually shrinking which was really interesting because when you breastfeed after you have a baby, right after you have a baby and they first start breastfeeding, it almost hurts because it creates such a cramping in your uterus because the breastfeeding actually creates like a the uterus to start contracting and then that's what actually makes the uterus shrink, which is great. So it's almost like my body's going through that process. So I am feeling some crampy, but nothing crazy. I took some Tylenol last night in the middle of the night because I noticed that I was, I just didn't want to deal with the cramping. And uh, so I took two, two Tylenol and I don't know, I feel pretty good. I feel really good. I'm going to go out and do two little errands. I'm going to still take it easy because I feel tender around my incision sites. There's only like two little sites, but I still feel um, delicate. Let me show you. Uh, right there. There's three little sites. So there's this one, which is in the belly button. This one, which is an actual cut. And then this one down here, which is just like a little, he said it's just an, a needle incision, but it must have bled because it looks like another incision. But he said there was only two incision sites. So um, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll keep you guys posted. This is the fibroid assessor procedure that I did with Dr. Bruce Lee. And I am on day three, Let's see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm beginning day three of my healing process. And my belly is a lot less distended today as well. Like yesterday, it felt really swollen and distended like air, but it wasn't the kind of air that was in your intestines. It was like air inside my cavity, my belly cavity. And that was what he said from the anesthesia and and also just probably swelling from the work. Um, so anyway, that's all. I'll keep you guys posted. Ciao. Hi guys, it's me, G. It is now Friday, October 23rd. I had my procedure on Monday, October 19th, around 12. It took around two and a half hours. I was home by like 7 p.m. And it is like afternoon on Friday and um, just wanted to give you a Give you a little heads up on how I was doing. I'm feeling really pretty good. Um, I I feel a little crampy, less crampy than than Thursday. I noticed that Wednesday night, late at night, I started to feel like cramps, like the kind of cramps you would almost have if you were nursing, right? When you first start nursing a child, which was really interesting. And that's the uterus trying to contract and shrink itself and get rid of the fibroids that have been ablazed. Um, uh, I'm feeling really good. I'm, I'm listening to my body when I need a nap. I just go take a nap. Um, um, I'm not, there's, I could probably be doing other things, but I'm not. I'm just sort of taking it easy and enjoying this time that I rarely give myself to just relax. And, um, and I still feel tender in my belly, although it's way less bloated. It was, it was probably twice as bloated as it is now. Um, Wednesday night and Thursday, but now it's a lot less bloated and it's still tender around the incision sites and it feels a little like bruise sort of sensation and also where the incisions are it feels like pointy like sharp like like I can't wait till Tuesday when I get to get the incisions out or the the stitches out so it can just be a little softer in that area 
and it also feels a little tiny bit swollen around the areas where the incisions were, especially in the very low one, which is closer to the, the uterus. Um, I guess that's it. I'm super grateful I did the procedure. Um, Dr. Bruce Lee's been amazing. I can call him. I've called him anytime he answers. I, I have his cell phone. I mean, that's just rare. I have his cell phone, and he genuinely, like, cares about things when I ask him on the phone, and I never feel like he's he's rushing me off or, you know, doesn't have the patience to hear all my weird considerations, and he's very comforting and sweet, and I'm really happy. So far, I'm super happy with my choice, um, and again, that was to do the assess a procedure by Dr. Bruce Lee, and uh, that's it. I'll keep you guys posted. See ya. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday, the 24th of October. I had my procedure on Monday, October 19th. Um, I'm actually feeling like I want to run out today and go do something. I've, I felt like going out every day a little bit, but I found that I was still a little sore and tender in my belly area. And so I decided to just really take advantage of the time off and and just go out a little bit and nap. Um, but today I feel really good and my tummy's gone down a lot. It's gone down like more than, it's probably gone down 65%, 70%, almost 70%. My tummy's a really tiny ass shape. It's gone down and it feels, hold on, let's do it this way. Yeah, it's gone down. It's not as distended. It's still a little tender here, and it feels a little swollen right here where the steri sticks are. I'm trying to keep my pants real low so it doesn't irritate it, but it's it's tight right here, so it's kind of the skin is sort of being pulled back. Aside from that, I feel pretty darn good. I didn't have to take a Tylenol last night for the cramping. That's about the only problem I'm having is the cramping is like period cramps but a little sometimes those are draining and and the little where the steri stitches are it's a little tight and pinchy which is to be expected because there's stitches in the skin so I can't wait to get those out and feel my own skin um, otherwise I'm gonna go do some stuff today um, this is my first this will be my first day going to an actual activity thing then I'm gonna come home and rest Again, because I have to go to an event tonight, but I feel ready. I feel actually very well rested, and I really took advantage of the downtime and probably more than I needed to, but I never do that, so I think it was really important that I have a little break for myself. So, so far, here I am. This is the assessive procedure. I had it on Monday. It's now Saturday. I'm heading out to seize a little bit of the day. See ya. Hello, it's me. It is now a week and a half past my surgery, which I had on October 19th with Dr. Bruce Lee on the assessive procedure. I've had since my stitches removed. My belly feels really good. It's gone down dramatically. Um, I don't feel that pressure anymore that of my bladder being pressed by the fibroids. I don't feel just like a hard, dense feeling down in my lower belly like I felt for years lying down. I just constantly felt this hard, dense area. I don't feel that. It feels soft and um, and and it's a huge relief not to have to pee every two seconds, believe me, for myself and for my friends. Anyway, I'm super grateful um, to Dr. Bruce Lee that I went ahead and did this procedure. I recommend it to anyone. I feel great. I had bad rehearsal yesterday. I've been going out. Um, I'm still taking it easy a little bit, just as far as at the gym, because I don't want to do any sit-ups or anything, because I still feel like the stitches are healing on the inside of me. But overall, I'll show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So this is my belly, but this is what's left. And you can't really see. There's a little bruising still. There's a stitch in my belly button, but you can't see it. And there's a tiny little incision right here, which is remarkable. That's it. That's the only one that you could see. The rest is just like a prick mark or the tiny stitches inside my belly button, which you can't see. So I'm super grateful. Um, 
and the downtime was amazing. It was hardly anything at all. And most importantly is all my parts are intact. Like if I wanted to have children, I could have children. But that's not in the plan for me at this point in my life. But so that to me is the best part of all is that I didn't have to compromise my parts. Everything's intact. I feel good. I feel grateful. I would like you guys to have the same thing. I'm Each Daily signing off. Check out the assessive procedure with Dr. Bruce Lee in Beverly Hills. And uh, that's it. Bye.